hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we'll be talking about black americans being lazy and it's always the immigrants who like to penetrate the idea that other natives of those lands because they don't work and they don't have employment and they are the ones being employed why don't they ask themselves why they are being employed and how much are you being paid the work that you're doing how much because it's certainly not on the same rate as me because if they would pay me what i'm worth then they won't need you and there won't be any need for you the only need for you is because you are an exploitable market and because you're a foreigner and they can do with you whatever they want and most of the time foreigners comply with these rules because they want to be in a in this country so let's just watch the video i don't want to get much into it I'm, I'm already pissed off by ignorant men who like to penetrate these ideas online and we have to listen to it but anyways let's just watch the video and i'll see you in my next episode bye my parents came here from fucking you feel me from haiti with nothing and really created something bro came bought a house started a family you feel me my, my dad owned multiple fucking properties of real estate you feel me? My mom work her fucking ass off every fucking morning at, on the dock up every morning. Never, no excuses, fam. She get the fuck up and get the shit and do what she have to do. But every time I hear these fucking Americans, all they do is fucking make excuses, fam. Mm. They always <laughs> find all excuses. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Bro, like, my parents came here at thirty years old. That's why. I don't when like you my think about it, put yourself in their shoes. Yeah. Oh, I imagine can't. going to another country at thirty years old and restarting your whole life. Yeah. All over. That shit is fucking crazy. That, yeah. you know? And you can't speak a lick of English. You can't exactly. even speak their language. That's bro. why I ain't gonna lie. Like I hate when people be like, "Oh, you're lucky," and stuff like that. Oh, I oh, hate when not, people. Bro, we, not, I, hate, I hate when people gripe and be like, "Oh, like especially like I feel like Americans because I mean we in America so." Americans who have lines and lines and lines and lines of family here and they complaining, I'd be like, bro, I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Right, bro. I ain't, I ain't we, never met my Y'all sat there and kept fucking up. Each generation, y'all just keep fucking up. Yeah. And don't figure out, okay, maybe I'm fucking up. Look, what's the right way to do this shit? <laughs> exactly. And then want to point the finger at the white man, be like, oh, the white man did yeah. it. No, fuck that. You figure out it. what the white man doing and then try to capitalize yeah. off the shit. Back when the America was, is based man, off capitalism, nigga. They think, they Learn think, how to bro. capitalize and capitalize. They, 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 Back they, they, they think we they think we lucky, but they don't they don't realize. I mean, I don't know if you had to go through this shit, Gary, but you know, you was down south. Nigga, I got off the bus. Haitian Friday. Every time get my ass beat, bruv, just for being a zoo. I could be Haitian. That's it. I could I got picked on. I never got my That's ass beat. Always get always getting jumped. I couldn't even sit in the back of the bus. Because <laughs> the back of the bus, that's where the motherfuckers were. Y'all saying, y'all saying, yeah, we, we really lucky. talking about racism. He black people was racist too. Y'all, y'all used to beat the fuck out of us. I had to run sooner like off the bus. Take off to try to get to y'all the crib, about bro. Some Rosa Parks, <laughs> nigga. What? <laughs> we lucky? Right. Nah, y'all only saying that now because we don't, we, we don't made a way. We done took that, over this shit. That's not what a, the not a, not a, not a souls taking See over and shit. Now y'all want to fuck with us. But back then, you think I forgot? Oh. They, 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 they rats. And, 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 and our stance is not coming from a fucking like um, what's that word called? Like narcissist, huh? Narcissist. No, not narcissist. I'm saying like in more like a, a victim mindset. Like oh, a bias. Yeah, not bias because you know people you be can't like, even oh, say we you don't. You talking shit about the black people just because we w used to whoop your ass? No, Shout no, no. That's money. not the reason why. We really speaking from a logical experience, fact based from experience, shit. real you know what shit. Saying? So all in all, we what really is this topic through. talking about? Lazy Americans. Yes, yes. Americans back, are lazy. Back, back, foreigners back are more hustling. You should be reminded that as a Haitian in this country, you stand upon the shoulders of every black American that has come before you. You should also be reminded that as a result of the work of my ancestors, your ancestors were able to come here. Now, I actually know history, and so I hold Haiti in very high regard. But what you will not do is say that we have not worked. That's not what you're going to do. You're not going to do that because you're young, stupid, and you don't know history. Now, as you sit in what your parents have worked for, that you have had nothing to do with, pick up a book and learn something. You be blessed, honey.
This is for the many people who have told me that black people have the exact same opportunities as white people. They can be wealthy if they want to. They just don't work as hard because they're lazy. Currently in 2018, the typical black household has just 6% of the wealth of the typical white household. Dear straight white men, property taxes are the primary source of school funding. This means the better the homes in a given neighborhood, the better the schools. Due to historical redlining and hoarding of wealth, the primary occupants of rich neighborhoods are white. The primary occupants of poor neighborhoods are black and brown. So we tend to have worse schools, worse books, lower paid teachers, and thus less opportunity for upward financial progression. If you didn't know that for the American middle class, home equity accounts for two-thirds of one's wealth. If you didn't know that the median net worth for a white family in Boston is around 250000 but for a black family it's $8, check the link in my bio. Lastly, white people have the privilege of individuality. You'll rarely ever hear somebody generalize a group of white women saying, mm, Angelina Jolie did it, so so can you. But what you do hear is people saying to black people, well, Obama did it, so so can you, you're just being lazy.